There it is Wednesday. Yes, hello. Coast to coast across Canada. You're watching Breakfast Television. It's Six Arrow. My name is Dawn Chubay. And we all know social media is a powerful tool. And our next guest has been using it to break barriers and raise awareness for ostomy surgery. We welcome founder and spokesperson for Uncover Ostomy, Jessica Grossman, to share her story. First of all, welcome. Thank you. To BT. This is such an important topic to talk about because it is kind of that stigmatized, silent thing that we don't even realize. Maybe you could start yeah. with talking about what ostomy surgery is. Yeah, so an ostomy is a surgically created opening, um, usually out of the intestine, sometimes the urinary system, that redirects your you know, system to eliminate waste and it goes into a bag because you don't have control over it. And it's usually given to people because they have Crohn's disease, cancers, they have accidents, birth defects, a lot of different reasons. At what age were you when this journey began? Um, I started to feel symptoms of Crohn's disease when I was eight years old. Um, my, my mom says I stopped eating dessert and that was a, a sign. Uh, and then I found out I had lost five pounds. An eight-year-old should not be losing five pounds. Um, I ended up getting a bunch of tests. I was diagnosed at nine with Crohn's disease. I basically lived at SickKids Hospital, a great place, uh, for two years. And in 2003, I was given the choice to have ostomy surgery or not and see how long I lasted. <laughs> and how are you feeling now? Oh, I feel great. You feel great? <laughs> I, I just wanted to read, so, and, and I'll kind of go a little off script here, but I, I received when, when I posted that we were going to have you on. And by the way, it's well worth looking at Jessica's Instagram because, you know, when we look at your Instagram, it's like, unless you had told me that you had issues, I would never, never know. And so when I posted um, some of the most beautiful pictures of you, um, I had a friend that, that reached out, and just for privacy, I won't say his name, but he said, she and her social media helped me a lot when I got really sick with my Crohn's disease and all my surgeries. She's such an inspiration. And then I said, oh my gosh, I to this person, I said, I had no idea you had health issues. And this person said, it's the invisible disease with stigma attached to it, so I keep pretty quiet about it. And mm -hmm. I, I have to think this is why it was so important for you to sort of break the glass and go, listen, it's all, it can be any of us, yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah, I mean, when I first had surgery, I was 13, and it was, you know, a long time ago, kind of before the internet was what it is now. And the only things out there were a lot of medical journals or very, unfortunate medical photos of you know the problems that you can face after having surgery and so as a 13 year old you know trying to grow into myself after surgery there wasn't really anyone that I could look to to find that inspiration so I was like I guess I'll try and here we are <laughs> so what did you think it would be when you started because I mean uh, we, we see stories all the time with amazing people like yourselves where they just want to help out a few people literally a handful of people and it turns into this completely other thing that no one expected but is doing such good work and helping so many others out out there over social media because social media is a lot of things mm -hmm. but you can also help people what has the reaction been like to your account um, I mean when I first started I launched Uncover Ostomy in 2009 and actually the ostomy community was not too happy with it they kinda said to me well, we're happy keeping it to ourselves. We don't really need to spread awareness Did that about this. You? I was so surprised. Some people were even like, you're just a model wearing an ostomy bag. And I'm like, who does that, first of all? I had friends being like, no, we've seen it. It's real. Um, but eventually the, the conversation kind of changed. And you know, I showed my life in 2009. I was in university. I was dating a lot of people. I was president of my sorority. I was partying, you know, Western University. And I was just showing my life with having an ostomy, a life that I could only have because of my ostomy. And so after people started to get to know me and see the purpose of what I was doing was just to say, this surgery is life saving, you can just live normally, the, the conversation changed. And I think since then I've had people literally all over the world reach out to me and say, you know, you've actually helped me make the decision. Um, you know, at least I know I can talk to my friends about this. And like, I get a message almost every day and it's, it's really amazing. Well, you know, and it's International Women's Day and I mean, whether this was intentional for this day or not, I mean, this is exactly what women and anybody that is a mentor and inspiration to others is to show that there is a possibility of living a very full and I'm gonna go quote, air quotes on this, normal life because what is normal? Yeah. Um, for anybody out there that is either going through the same thing or feels that stigma or whatever, or maybe we know somebody who is going through this, well, do you have any words of advice for them? Um, I always say everyone has something, whether you can see it or not. And it's really about loving yourself for who you are. 
Um, the more that you appreciate and love and feel confident in yourself, the more likely others are going to feel that way about you. And I say the same thing specifically about ostomy surgery. I approach it in the way that this saved my life and it's made me who I am. And you either accept it or you don't. And if you don't, you're not going to be in my life. And, you know, you can approach that with anything in your life and, and just, you know, be confident in yourself. You're doing, you're doing amazing work for people here. You're, you're talking about something and it is giving people a lot of hope and it's giving, it's centering people because you are, you are a phenomenal person. You're doing great work. Where can, where can we find more online? <laughs> Uh, well, you can find my Instagram at Jess Grossman. Um, the Uncover Ostomy site is uncoverostomy.org. We also have an Instagram at uncoverostomy. Um, and that's pretty much where you can find what I'm doing. All those people upset that you started that account a little quiet now, aren't they? <laughs> it's not what it's about. <laughs> but this is this helping a lot of people. Jessica, let's do this again. Appreciate Thank you, you so coming much. in. Thank, Thank you very you. much.